videos to show you how to do the dissolved oxygen test for the Lamont low cost water monitoring kit. First thing you'll need is your canister filled with your sample water. You'll, wanna, you'll use this canister to do many tests, but one of the first ones you want to do is dissolved oxygen. So you want to catch it before the oxygen diffuses out of the water. You will need a small glass test tube for this. This is what it looks like. There are two of them in your kit. You will need one for this test. You'll then take the cap off and submerge it in the water. Fill it all the way to the top. You want as little air space under in your vial as possible. Next, you will need to find your dissolved oxygen test tablets. This looks kind of like a, uh, a little um, tablet pack that says DO on it for dissolved oxygen. You want to take out two of these tablets. Once you have your tablets together in your hand, you want to remove the cap from your vial and slip them in there. The water will overflow a little bit. That's good. You want us again. You want us the least amount of air in there as possible. Go ahead and cap it. You'll start your timer at four minutes to time yourself as you mix the vial to dissolve the tablets. You want to invert it back and forth. You don't want to do a violent shaking motion. You just want to invert the invert the vial. You'll do this for about four minutes. This ensures ample time for the water to dissolve the tablets. When the timer is up, you're done mixing. You'll want to set your vial down. And then you'll want to start your timer for five minutes. This is the amount of time the vial will just let it sit and allow the color to develop. After the five minutes is up, you'll grab your test tube and you'll compare it to your color chart that's included in your Lamont kit. The dissolved oxygen colors are on the left. You have zero, four, and eight parts per million. For this, it looks like it's closest to four. It may not be exact, but we're going for the one that it's closest to. So you'll write down four parts per million on your data sheet. This video was created by the National Great Rivers Research and Education Center. Thank you for watching.